Angela Sharp with STL TV. Um, where else could I be but other than Eckerd's Farm right across the river in Belleville, Illinois. I'm very excited. Today I get to explore the Pick Your Own Peaches, the Sunflower Trail, which sounds beautiful. And I think they said blackberries too. So I'm really excited to see what's going on out here in Eckerd's. I haven't been here in a long time. In fact, the building behind me wasn't even here the last time I was here. So pretty excited to see what's going on. So come with me and let's have an adventure. I have caught up with Amanda Morgan. She's the marketing director out here at Eckerd's Farm. So thank you so much for having us out here today. Uh, thank you so much for coming. We love having folks out to the farm. So I'm really excited to explore. What can I explore today? Oh my gosh, today there's so much going on. Most people, you can see the parking lot is full, are all out here to get our tree ripened peaches. Um, we're not one to tout, but they are the best peaches that you'll be able to get anywhere that you go. So they're big, they're sweet, they're juicy. And um, the variety that we're picking right now is, is incredible. So right now you can get peaches, blackberries, and then we also have our sunflower trail available for a very short time and homegrown veggies. I mean, I bet a ton of people love taking photos in the sunflower, with the sunflowers. That's all the rage right now. It is, and you know, honestly, um, we have so many generations of families coming here. We see photos throughout the farm that, that families are taking and sharing on social platforms. So it's really just endearing to see all those memories that people are making um, while at our farms. I love that so much. And then as September comes up, what can people explore during September months? Yeah, the fun doesn't stop. We really have activities throughout the course of the year. So come um, the beginning of September, we will have our homegrown apples, which you'll be able to purchase in the store or go out and pick your own. Um, if you haven't been in a while, you get to take a tractor and wagon ride out to the fields, explore through the orchard, pick the apples that you want, and then you'll pay for whatever you pick. And then starting around mid to end September, we'll offer pick your own pumpkins as well that will carry us through the end of October. Wow, and there's a, there's a lot going on here. I did note that there was like, looks like a little kid's play area up the top of the hill. That's right, you can really spend all day here. Um, we have a full service restaurant that's open, a country store, a custard shop. Depending on when you come, you can um, sip on a hard cider from our, from our cidery. Um, shop the garden center, and then of course take the kids up to play in our fun corral. In the fall, we offer um, animals for petting, pony rides, camel rides, mechanical rides. It's really a full day of fun. I mean, you could really come out here and really spend a whole day and, and just kind of take it all in, whatever happens to be going on that season. That's right, there's, there's always something to do um, when you're at Eckert's, and the activities change seasonally, um, but the fun is guaranteed. This is a very cool spot. You could come out here with your family, your friends, or you know, just your favorite photographer and take so many awesome photos out here with these giant sunflowers. They're taller than me, so cool. It's Angela Sharp, Sunflower Tours right here at Eckerd's. Uh, I got my own little stand now, I now work here. And I, I'm not selling the sunflowers because we don't want you to pick them, but I will give you a tour through the sunflower patch. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to sit where I'm sitting on this truck, but if you are a regular, normal human, you could come sit right here on the chair like a regular person, get your family photo taken. You could do it every year, and then you'd have like every year down the line. It'd be super cute. I love it up here. It's a great view, by the way. Don't climb the truck. All right, Amanda has taken us out here. Now, is this typically where someone will come pick their peaches? That's right. So you will ride a tractor and a wagon out to this very spot. We'll give you a box to fill as full as you want, and then you can just explore the orchard and find the perfect peaches. Oh. Now, I love peaches, but I've never picked one before. How does one identify 
the perfect peach to pick? Sure, um, it kind of depends on how fast you're going to be using it. I just, you saw me eating one when we got out here. So if you're going to use it for fresh eating right away, just make sure it's a little soft to the touch. So just like a tiny little squeeze on it and then just pluck it right from the tree. Um, all of these are ripe. So if you want to use them in a couple of days or if you want to enjoy them later this week for fresh eating, just make sure they're a little bit more firm and then you can set them out on your counter and they will just continue to soften and they'll be delicious as ever. Oh, and it just comes right off. Pluck it off. I picked a peach. And then. Oh, you're gonna, you're gonna, we're gonna bite yeah. it? Yeah. All right, cheers. cheers. It's so juicy. Mm. It doesn't get any better. Oh, this is really good. You want one? All right, we have found the blackberries. Now, this is not how I feel like I would typically see blackberries grow. Sure, um, we used to grow blackberries in a more traditional format. They grow in bushes, and our, the blackberries we used to grow had thorns. They weren't ideal for little kids, especially to pick right. them. Several years ago, we, we changed the format in which we grow them, and you can see we grow them on a, a rotating trellis system. We have blackberries that are on the ground for little kids to pick, all the way up almost you know, to the sky. So right. any, any size person can easily reach up and find a completely black berry and just pluck it. Pluck right? it and, and, and there's no thorns. No thorns and then of course eat it. Of course. I don't know that I'm, I'm more eating them than I am picking them in my hand, but you know, that's okay. They're really good. So I could just sit out here all day and eat the blackberries. <laughs> we are now in the Eckers store, but we've had so much fun. There's a ton you can do, and of course that changes by season. So today we got to pick peaches directly off the tree and eat them. And I don't think I can eat a peach a different way again. They were so delightful. Plus we picked some blackberries and of course we ate those too. Anything I can eat, I'm going to eat. And then we explored the sunflower maze. I mean, just a ton you can do here. You need to check up with Eckerd's to see what season they're currently in. So maybe you can pick your own something. But I've said before that I'm really not much of like a, a cook and I'm not. However, now that we've been here, and I see all the different recipes and all the different fun you can have. I've decided that I'm going to become Susie Homemaker. So that's what I am now. Actually, come look at some of the things I've made for you. I made all of this stuff for you. Okay, she might have done it, but I'm gonna take credit for it. You guys definitely check out Eckerd's and then make sure you keep it right here on STL TV and experience St. Louis for STL TV. I'm Angela Sharp.